Blessings everyone, welcome back to Kyle's Cavern and tonight's video is going to be about crystals that have a strong connection to the lunar cycles and the moon. I have a few before me and I think I wanted to just come before you today as we're going into a new moon I believe. Just to come through and show you guys a few of my minerals and what I recommend for you guys. So. If you're interested in knowing what crystals that really help tap into that lunar energy so that you can become a lot more emotionally balanced because our emotions are very much so related and influenced by the moon so we've been having lots of lunar activity over the last few years so she's really she's really you know the moon is definitely doing her thing so if you're interested in learning more about crystals of this variety then please keep watching <laughs> so that means working with moon crystals sun crystal working with you know even plants that resonate with certain planets and even certain you know parts of your body like it's it's so like detailed as to how much even from space everything kind of reflects each other you know on a physical plane as well so when we're talking about moon energy we have crystals like moonstone this is a raw piece of moonstone and the black part is actually black tourmaline or shawl or shawl i think it's called shawl um uh but moonstone actually you you can sometimes see different colors of tourmaline growing on it but this is moonstone perfect for connecting with lunar energy i will put some close-ups so you guys can see the iridescence that moonstone gives off and moonstone is a part of the felspar family of minerals and felspars that mineral kind of makes up the majority near quartz it kind of makes up the nearest majority that covers the planet so it covers the planet majority the felspar family we have labradorite which is another would you say cousin to moonstone but also you have amazonite too which is another part of the felspar family we also have opal opal really does have lots of this is a boulder opal from australia Something in there um but opal's are amorphous so their structure is a lot more silica and you know watery based and free forming than quartz which is very stacked and very layered so uh, opals are very you know very fragile working with them in jewelry so cautious boulder opals are sturdier than working with I guess you can say uh, wellow opal or Ethiopian opals because they can be a lot more fragile. Then we have Labradorite, which is a, another felspar, which is like moonstone. Um, lab Labradorite gets its flash from sheets from within the stone that reflect. Labrador Canada. Well, it's also called Spectralite too. Let's get to see the flash. And then we also have Selenite. Selenite deeply connects us to the lunar energy as you guys can see it has this really awesome chatoyance kind of i guess you want to say or sheen selenite is actually named after the greek goddess selene and selenite is great for cleansing um i will go back over the list of crystals over there are meaning but we'll just go off of selenite and go backwards <laughs> So selenite is really great for 
charging your other crystals. Sunlight is also called gypsum. Um, in Mexico, there's a really awesome cave called the Cave of Giants where selenite or gypsum is grown and it's grown like huge and it's actually really hard for even scientists to get down there because of the temperature of where they're growing and also the, the air is not so great in that cave. But gypsum is a really awesome lunar based crystal. It's lunar energy, divine energy, tapping into that high, high divine energy, then selenite is the way to go. Here my altars, I have this, it cleanses everything. It just it just has like an extra, I do say put this out in the full moon still. Um, it, like selenite, just leave, leave these crystals selenite by itself to cleanse by itself and not cleanse it. No, it has to be cleansed. So it has to just release anything that has been holding on to. You don't want a, you know, a dense crystal energetically so selenite is a great tool to work with when working with lunar energy that's really cool so going backwards we're going to talk about opal opals are really good for mental clarity and also transformation and emotional transformation Opal really works with us on a deeper, deeper level just because it is more water, amorphous. So having opal in your collection, when you're willing to work with more on your heart chakra and your third eye as well because of all the colors, even crown. Um, opal really does help to just connect to that more emotional aspect of yourself so that you can be more open to to feel feelings sometimes like you know sometimes it's like numb and i feel like opal allows you to go through certain things so that you can you know be a lot more happier and it gives you courage and it gives you just a boost of courage and mental it, it helps you just go through all of the like swim through all of the you know, garbage that you may have within you so that you can come out and transform it into something magical. So that is opal. Opal is something that is very, very, you know, everyone has opal in there. If you know about jewelry, you have may have, have opal or crystals, you may have opal in your collection. Uh, but I think opal sometimes can be overlooked and energetically opal. And then we have moonstone, of course. Moonstone is one of those crystals that keep coming, that it's always coming back to me. It really works well with, I think, Scorpios and along with Lavender Right too. A lot of these, because I'm a Scorpio myself, a lot of these crystals are recommended, I think, for just working with that psychic energy when you're working with the other side. If you're working into, into tapping into your psychic abilities, then these crystals specifically are great for that. Uh, it's said that if you put a moonstone under your tongue on a full moon you're able to see in the future which is very cool i would recommend cleansing the, the stone of course and or just making sure that it's tumbled and smooth before you try to do that and don't choke on it like <laughs> you don't want any choking hazards working with the full moon is very very important i think it helps to i think work on mindfulness throughout the duration of the month as it goes into, as it waxes and wanes. And each phase of the moon does have a different purpose. So depending on what your intention is coming to, um, you will be able to find what you're looking for. Even moonstone also, I forget, moonstone comes in different colors. It comes gray, it comes peach, it comes green. Also, there's black moonstone. You know, you get your, your variations. Also, the opposite of moonstones is that there is a sunstone out there. I don't have sunstone yet, but sunstone is definitely, um, if you really actually, it's said that if you, if you hold, if you want to work with that balance energy, you can hold a sunstone and a moonstone at the same time just to work with that pull energy. I really highly recommend that moonstone. New moon energy. Lapidorite, Spectralite is a really great crystal for working with 
you know, with the new moon energy, which is basically going in doing shadow work. Also, it's a great protective stone. It helps to reflect back negativity to its sender, it helps to tap into the subconscious. It really works well with dreams. If you're looking to dream more, well, it provides protection for you while you're sleeping in the astral world or traveling through the astral world. Lavenderite provides protection. It's said to ignore the lights trapped within the stone. And labradorite or spectralite is found in Canada. Well, even in Madagascar, you can find beautiful colored labradorite. If you have any more questions about crystals, please let me know in the comment section below. I love answering them. I try to answer back as much as I can. Um, if you guys want to know any information about my jewelry, my crystal jewelry, please shoot me some information about any interest that you may have about custom pieces that I can custom for you, customize for you, hair wrapping, as well as the macrame. So if you're interested in either of those, please let me know. I'll list all of my information down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye.